What's up guys, Andre here, and today I'd like to take a look at Exposed by Marcel Poziot. Exposed is an open source tunnel application written in PHP that allows you to share your local websites with others on the internet. If you've ever used the app Ngrok before, it has a very similar feature set. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to use it. Now for me, my use cases for tunnel applications are the following. I use it to show clients progress on a project. So if you have a project that's still in dev mode and doesn't have a staging server yet, I would use a tunnel application to send the client a URL to preview the project. So my other use case is for mobile application development. When you're working on an iPhone or an Android simulator, or maybe even an actual device, you have or you don't have access to the actual dev server on your machine. So you need to be able to hit a real URL to test your API endpoints. You also want to be able to make changes quickly in your code and have that be reflected in that URL. So for me personally, those are my two major use cases for tunnel applications like this. So let's take a look at Expose here. So all you have to do is install it globally using Composer and you can just make use of the CLI tool. So just do this, which I've already done. And if you go to the share your first site, you also have to grab an auth token if you want to use the default server. So just sign up for a free beyond code account and you'll get your auth token. And then you can do expose token and put your token in here and that should set up the config necessary. So now after those two steps, you can share your sites. So I have a vanilla Laravel 7 application here and here it is in my CLI. And all we have to do to expose this is to run the expose CLI tool. And there we go. You can see some information about the local URL and the exposed URL. So expose actually detects if you're making use of Laravel Valet, which I am making use of. And you can see it grabbed the local URL here. And if I go to this, remember this is accessible anywhere on the internet. So if it's on your phone, a simulator or in the browser, you can access it as long as this tool is open. And for each request, you can see some information here. So if I refresh this, you'll see that reflected here. But if you want a more detailed report on all the requests and responses coming in, you can click on that link and you can see it here. And there's a nice QR code if you want to visit this site on your mobile device. So one more time, I'm going to refresh this and you'll see it update here. Cool. Now, if you're not making use of Laravel Valet, you have to specify what local dev environment you want to share. So let me show you that. So let me close this and let me close this as well. And let me stop this. So you're going to have to run the dev server. So we'll make use of PHP artisan serve. And this is the URL we want to expose to the internet. So we can grab this and I'm going to open a new tab and just open that directory up again. And now I can do expose share and that website. And now as long as the dev server is running, we can make use of this expose URL. And there it is. Now, as you saw, it randomly generated a subdomain here. And when I did it initially, I was making use of Laravel Valet. So it just detected the project name or the folder name, but you can specify this subdomain if you want. So to do that, let me close this, just go here and we can just specify the dash dash subdomain equals whatever you want. And this has to be unique. And as long as no one else is using it, you can use it. So let's say level seven. And now it works here on this subdomain. Cool. So let me show you a case where the subdomain is taken. So I'm going to leave this one open. Again, I'm going to open the project and run that same command and you'll see that it's taken already. So expose will throw an error. Okay. Let's take a look at basic auth. So if we do this and tag on the dash dash auth equals, and then we want to give it a username and a password, say secret, then basic auth will be set up in your tunnel. So now if I go here, you'll see that it requires a password. So admin, let's put a wrong password in. It doesn't work. Let's put the right password in and this should work. 
So if you need that extra layer of security, make sure to use this. So to reiterate, this works with any of your local dev environments. So I'm in a Vue CLI application here. I'm going to do npm run serve. And now I want to share this URL and make a tunnel for this. So again, I'm just going to go into that folder and we can do expose share that URL and this should work. And there is the URL available anywhere on the internet. So another feature is to be able to use your own domains for the shared URL. So if we do this, you might have noticed that the server is shared with expose.com. Now for me personally, this is fine. I don't want to have to set up and maintain my own server just to share URLs. But there are people who might want to use their own server for more control or for branding purposes. So this will be replaced with your own URL. So keep in mind that there is a lot of server config required, so you have to be comfortable with that. So I won't go through every single step I've done, but I'll show it to you working on my server. So I own this domain called andredemos.ca, so we'll be making use of that. So like I said, there are a few steps you have to do, which I've already done, but I will go through what I did to get it working on your own servers. So the first thing is to make sure you set up your DNS to have wildcard subdomains. So here I am in DigitalOcean for this domain, like I said, and all you have to do is point star dot domain to your IP address. So the next step is to, I'm using Forge here, go into your Forge and you want to create a new site. So let me go to the server. And when you create a new site, you want to make sure to check allow wildcard subdomains. So I've already done that. And this is that here. And I believe I'm not entirely sure, but when you check that wildcard subdomains that gets reflected in the Nginx config. So let me open that up and you'll see it here in the server name and it's prepended with a dot here. So the next thing you want to do is make sure SSL is set up for wildcard subdomains. So if you go into SSL here, you'll see that I have it working here and you have to make sure to add the subdomain and also the top level domain. So as you see in the pop-up, it says star.andredemos.ca and andredemos.ca. So now back into the docs, you have to run this command on your server to make it an expose server and be able to share URLs. So we'll do this in a second, but the next thing you have to do is add some configuration to your nginx config. So I've added, I've left this SSL stuff because Forge took care of that, but I've added all of this in this location block. So let me show you that in Forge. So if I go to files, is this the right site? Yep, files, nginx config. You'll see that in the location block, this is what was originally here and I commented it out and I just pasted in all of this which like I just showed you is all of this here. So now we can start the domain or sorry, not the domain, the server, the expose server. So expose serve and the domain. So I'm going to SSH into my server. And I'm going to go into that site or the site folder. And you want to install expose here so you can do Composer global require expose like we did earlier. So just do this on the server. This, I've already done that. And now we can run that command here. So expose serve andredemos.ca in our case. And you can change the port too, but I'll just leave it to default. So expose serve andredemos.ca. And that's not going to work because when you install expose, it goes to a certain directory. So I have that somewhere here in my history and there it is. So this is the path to expose. If you want, you can make an alias for this, but we're running the same command here and this should start up the server. And now it's running on port 8080. And if I hit that in the browser, that should show that expose is running and it is. And if you want to see the admin interface, it should be expose 
www.andredemos.ca. And as you see, there is basic auth in place, and I believe the default username is username and password. And there is a config here, but I'm just going to leave it to this. And there we go. And this will list all of the sites that are currently shared on this server. So now if you want to share on this new domain, we have to change the config in our local installation. So this is the server and this is my local machine here. And let's go ahead and take a look at the config. And I believe it's in the home directory slash expose slash config dot PHP. Okay. And by default, the host is shared with expose.com like we've been doing, but if we set up our own domain, we can just comment this out and use our own domain. And since I have SSL set up, the next option here is the port and 443 is the port for SSL. So now if I just save this and now if we try this, let me exit and run expose again, this should hopefully work on our own server. And it looks like it does work. And there we go. Cool. And if you look at the domain here, or sorry, the admin, you'll see if I refresh, you'll see this, this site is being shared currently. Now, if you check out the docs, I'm not going to do this, but you probably want to keep this expose server running and you can use supervisor for that. So this is similar to keeping something like horizon running when you're doing queues with Laravel. So I'm not going to do that, like I said, but all the instructions are here and you can probably even make use of the UI in forge to do this. So when I was setting up the server, I actually came across several different issues. Some were related to expose others were not, but this thread definitely helped me out and I'll link to that in the description below. So there you have it guys. If you want to share your local dev URLs to people on the internet through a tunnel, definitely check out Expose. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one. Okay, thanks, bye.